Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying area. Now area has to do with covering. Imagine covering a shape with squares. And how many squares will you use? That's its area. Let's say that I have this kind of a funny shape. And it's on this grid. And there's all these squares, right? So basically I just count how many squares are there in this shape. Or you can think of it as covering. If I had little square tiles, how many square tiles would I need to cover this shape? So I can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the area is 8 squares. Or we can say 8 square units. How about this shape? It's a rectangle. So it's pretty easy, we could just count those squares inside it. But I also want you to write a multiplication for it, right? There are basically 5 here, 5 here and 5 here, or 3 times 5. So I can find the area by multiplying. I get 15 squares or square units. Let's look at this again. When you're counting how many squares for multiplication, you're not counting all the squares, but you're counting how many rows and how many columns of squares there are, okay? You count this as 1, 2, and 3, right? And here you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 columns of squares. And we get 3 times 5. Do not count these blue little lines here like 1, 2, 3, 4. Do not count those lines. Here's a unit, unit, unit. Three units times unit, 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 unit. Five units, okay? Or three rows and five columns.